Kenya has made great strides in dealing with substandard and counterfeit medicines in the market following the establishment of a pharmaceutical microbiology laboratory. According to the World Health Organization, over 100,000 deaths are reported annually in sub-Saharan Africa due to the use of substandard and falsified medical products. The lab by the Mission for Essential Drugs and Supplies that is made is set to bolster testing for microbial contamination and ensure access to quality, safe and effective medicines. Safina Cheng Omar gives you an inside view of this lab ahead of its official launch on Wednesday. As the country's quest to ensure equal access to quality healthcare gains space, a key concern has remained proliferation of substandard medicines in the market, a challenge that is competing with diseases in causing death. A silver lining, however, lies in the setting up of an ultra-modern microbiology lab in Kenya by the Mission for Essential Drugs and Supplies to conduct comprehensive testing and analysis of drugs before they get into the market. The quality assurance aspect is very, very important. Remember, we are not just dealing with you know, rogue manufacturers or rogue distributors who deliberately introduce poor quality medicines into the market. We are also talking about the conditions in which the pharmaceutical products or the medicines are exposed to. So if they're, not expo if they're exposed to uh, conditions which are not favorable for storage uh, of those particular medicines, then you find a situation whereby uh, a good quality product which was manufactured correctly becomes a substandard product just because of the handling and the storage. According to the World Health Organization, an estimated one in ten medical products in low- and middle-income countries is substandard or falsified. WHO estimates that the use of substandard antibiotics to treat pneumonia in children under five years results in up to 169,000 deaths each year, while bad antimalarials are estimated to lead to between 31,000 to 116,000 deaths in sub-Saharan Africa debts that can be avoided through proper testing and quality control of medicines. We are working together with other supply chain organizations, for example, CAMSA. We are working with the National Quality Control Lab. We are working with the regulator, that is Pharmacy and Poisons Board, to constantly keep the country safe from falsified and substandard medicines. The state-of-the-art pharmaceutical microbiology lab that is set to be launched on Wednesday has been established at a cost of 100 million shillings and is the second microbiology lab in Kenya. It is one among nine such laboratories established by WHO in Africa, setting Kenya on the verge of playing a pivotal role in the global comprehensive quality control strategy in the health sector. We have served close to about 25 African countries, samples coming in from you know, across the border to be tested here. Because one, we have the investment to do it, but then number two, we also have the expertise to be able to do it. And to further ensure access to quality, safe and effective medical products, stakeholders are calling for urgent intervention to address the high cost which forces desperate people to buy cheap medicines from unreliable sources. Safin Aching Oma, Citizen TV.